Hey, I'm meteorologist Doug Myers with the latest look at your forecast, and it was a very hot day yesterday. Of course, in the triple digits, uh, our hottest uh, day of the year so far, and we may break it today because we're starting out a lot warmer early this morning. It is going to depend on cloud cover and a frontal boundary. That's going to be a determination of our temperatures over these next couple of days. But you can see the wide range in temperatures this afternoon from low 90s north to triple digits down to the south. That's the reason why areas, especially along and south of the Turnpike, but even as far north as Holton in uh, the heat advisory once again for today, where the greatest risk of a heat index approaching 105 or greater will likely occur and of course that is due to the high humidity where we have dew points that will be generally stuck in the upper 60s and low 70s now it may cool down just a little bit as we head into these this afternoon so we'll keep an eye on that but remember the lower the dew point which means the lower the humidity means the better opportunity for the temperature to get warmer now the higher the humidity or the dew point the harder it is for temperature to get warmer and so certainly something to watch out for but you can see that uh, again higher probability of those heat index values approaching 105 long and south of the turnpike and just like yesterday where models were undercutting the uh, how high the heat index could be there's still a potential where some areas could still get up to 110 today models just aren't picking that up for whatever reason but we did get up uh, around there in several areas yesterday so i don't see any reason why we couldn't do that again for today once again we'll have the wide range in temperatures for for tomorrow may be a little bit more pronounced tomorrow but obviously we'll continue to keep an eye on it and then once we get into saturday finally no triple digits still some 90s possible but a lot of areas that uh, will stay in the 80s for the first half of the weekend we are monitoring some rain early this morning most of it is going to be in southern nebraska but we'll keep an eye on areas along highway 36 for that potential this model is keeping it up to our north so that'll be something to watch out for Otherwise, as uh, we take a look at uh, today, generally a mix of sun and clouds across uh, the area as uh, showers and thunderstorms will push through the area for tonight once again, this time maybe a little bit farther to the south compared to what we had uh, for early this morning. Obviously, it's going to depend on where that frontal boundary is, though, so this is subject to change. Keep checking back in throughout the day for updates on this, but whatever we get should not impact Friday morning's commute. Like it... Uh, like it may have done on Thursday morning Wednesday morning sorry Thursday morning oh my gosh I'm getting all my dates confused bottom line is you can see these rounds of showers and thunderstorms likely at night into the early morning hours with most of the day dry and then we may get some pop-up storms as early as four o'clock on Friday and continuing to become a little bit more widely scattered and possibly widespread Friday night so that's going to be something we're going to continue to keep an eye on with our severe weather risks and so for today into tonight, greatest potential for severe weather, and this does include this morning, by the way, with any lingering storms along Highway 36 and up to uh, southeastern Nebraska with that slight risk of severe weather. And then we'll watch out for another round of for tonight. And then once again, tomorrow into tomorrow night. And then once again into Saturday, we will continue with showers and thunderstorms through the day on Saturday, even into Saturday evening. And so that margin risk continues for the southeastern section of our viewing area. So how much rain can we potentially get for the weekend? Saturday into Saturday night, about a quarter inch to a half inch worth of rainfall for many spots across the area, according to the European. The GFS a lot less. So there's still some fine tuning that needs to be made for what to expect for this upcoming uh, weekend's forecast. But whatever it is, it's going to be dry Sunday. Whether the rain is more hit and miss or whether we get a little bit more scattered rainfall, it's still not to the point I'm ready to say cancel any outdoor plans, but definitely make sure you're having a plan B. Otherwise, uh, and we continue the warm up for Monday and Tuesday. I am still keeping an eye on that rain chance by Tuesday night that could have an impact on those fireworks festivities uh, for uh, after sunset Tuesday. So be on the lookout for that. I do think most of the daytime hours of Tuesday will be dry. So if you're doing any barbecuing, grilling, going out to the pool, right now it looks okay. I'm more concerned about the fireworks festivities after sunset Tuesday compared to the daytime activities. But obviously we'll watch that and then we'll continue with a frontal boundary pushing through and you can see the cool down 
as the rain chances continue from Wednesday into Wednesday night with the cold front pushing through and getting us back to more seasonal temperatures towards the end of the week. So it does look like the 4th of July may end up being the warmest day next week. So well, that'll be something to watch for over the next couple days as well. But we do have some days to get through for today and tomorrow for most areas where we still have to deal with dangerous heat. So be ready for that. Otherwise, a nice cool down for the weekend.